everybody. So as you all know already, I'm at my parents' house. And Angel obviously missed me. <laughs> and I guess Romeo must have missed me too. <laughs> so we made it home. It was a very stressful day. I got angry with the valet parking at the hospital. It took them 45 minutes to get the car. That could be a rant. Maybe I'll film a rant video. Yeah, let's film a rant video, shall we? We get discharged from the hospital and everybody at the hospital, fantastic people, totally fantastic people. All the nurses, all the doctors, cleaning staff, everybody. They hated to see us go because we were the fun room on the cancer floor. So we were having a grand old time. So they discharged us. What's the matter, Romeo? So they discharge us. And we go down. They take us downstairs. I go and I pay $9 a day for parking. Cost us $36 because we were there. My mom's car was there for that long. No big deal. I mean, it's not the fact that it was a lot of money or anything like that. But, you know... You got people that are on their deathbed in that hospital. Or you got families that had a family member just die that have been in that hospital. And they charge them $9 a day to valet park. I think in that type of a situation, it should be comped. I'm sorry, but it should be comped. So, anyway, I go up after 30 minutes and I say, all right. What's taking so long for my car? My father just had surgery on his backside and he can't really sit the way he's sitting for this long. So I really need my car. Oh, it's on its way. Don't worry. It's on its way. Like, it's on its way. Don't worry is not a good enough answer. What's taking so long for my car? There's other people ahead of you, dear. What? Don't talk to me in a condescending tone and don't call me dear. I would like to speak with your supervisor, please. So she gets on the phone and she calls some guy. Are you the act acting supervisor tonight or today? She rolls her eyes and she's huffing and puffing. I'm getting more and more angry. Now, I wasn't angry. I just wanted to know what was going on. But now the way she's acting, I'm getting angry. And I mean angry. I would have filled my cuss jar up. Let's put it that way. So she says to him, I guess he must have said yeah. She says, oh, yeah, there's a customer who wants to talk to you and blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think she just wants to complain. What? No, I don't want to just complain. <laughs> so I see this guy walking over because I said, okay, I got to go stand next to my dad because I don't want to leave him alone. But this is what I'm wearing. I'll be right over there when the supervisor comes. I'd like him to come to me, please. So. I see this guy walking up to the counter and I go over to the counter. I said, are you the acting supervisor? I'm the highest you're gonna get here today. Okay, well now I want corporate number and I wanna go above your head because you are just being rude. 
And I already know, by the way, you just spoke with me, that you are just as much of a jerk as the woman inside the booth. Okay, I just expressed to your coworker, obviously not your subordinate because of the way you treat people, um, that my father just had major surgery and is terminally ill and you're gonna talk to somebody like that? So I don't understand how they could speak to somebody like that. So I said, I have a problem with the fact that it is now taken because it, you're no faster than your employee, than the employees that you're supervising. Um, it's been 45 minutes and my car is still not here. And I charged, you guys charged me $36, you charge $9 a day for sick people or for, to a family who just lost somebody or who may have just lost somebody. You charge them $9 a day to park in your parking structure or for you to park their car in your parking structure. I said, I'm from California. We don't even pay that at our hospitals. I said, and at our hospitals, if it took 45 minutes for someone to get a car, their ass would have been fired. So, you know, he's like, did you, did you just lose somebody in the hospital? I said, no. I said, but my father is ill. Terminally ill. Where are you going, Mel? And this is unacceptable. I said, I want the number to corporate, your supervisor, and I want your name. He's like, I don't have to give you that information. I said, no, you don't, but I can find that information. It would be much easier if you let, gave it to me. He says, well, I can give you this survey card. I said, oh, you don't want me to fill out a survey card. Do you really? Do you? I said, you know what? I'm gonna go back in the hospital and find somebody inside to talk to. The hospital has no control over it. That's what, I know that. My mother just said the hospital has no control over it, but yet they were trying to tell me that the hospital regulates the prices of the valet. No, they don't. No, they don't regulate the prices of the valet. I had already verified that through the hospital. So, sorry, it's dark. I'm walking into the other room because you all know I'm in North Carolina and my dad, I was being too loud for my dad. So I had to come in the other room. So, anyway, when I threatened that, all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh, no, here. This is his name, this is the number, this is my name. And he gave me everything I needed and your car, let me check on it. Oh, it's on its way, it'll be here in one minute. The reason it took so long is it was parked in this structure over here and we only have one person that works there on the weekends. I was like, oh really? So you weren't gonna give me any of this information until I threatened to go inside and talk to somebody inside the hospital. So. You just confirmed to me that you guys are your own and the hospital has hired you. The hospital doesn't regulate anything with your company and that the hospital can fire you guys anytime they want. And if I went inside and complained, hmm. Let me see, maybe there's complaints already been filed and you don't want me to go inside and complain? Yeah. So I got my car really quick after that. And they even helped me load it. And I was being a little bit of a wise but myself. I said, oh, that goes in the trunk. That goes in the back seat. Oh, no, 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 wait. After they put it all in the car, I'm sorry, I do need that one from the trunk in the back seat. And that one, I'm sorry, should be in the trunk. Yeah. And tip? Hell no. Report? Will be filed on Monday morning. 
And this one guy came up to me that works for them. And he says, I'm so sorry you had such a problem here with them. He says, we do need more people on the weekends. We can't get it. I said, well, you will get it. You, you need it. Because this is unacceptable. <laughs> Completely unacceptable. So, I was so very, very stressed out. Rant over. Thank you very much.